Eight years ago, I'm chatting to an investor and he says to me, hey Dan, would you be interested in some German gangsters? Definitely. I mean, who wouldn't be, right? I'm, right? I'm a journalist and you're like, oh, you've got my attention right there. And so I start to look at this company. He tells me it's called Wirecard. And it seems to be too good to be true. This company goes from being a small little fintech that nobody's heard of to one of the largest and most successful companies in Germany. But I keep on investigating it. And in June 2020, as a result of my reporting, the whole thing blows up. It's rotten from top to bottom and it's exposed as a giant fraud. Money makes a wow.